this video we will discuss about Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Johannes Kepler was born in the year 1571. Since childhood he wanted to become a theologist but later he shifted his interest from theology to astronomy and he struggled long to figure out why Mars appeared periodically to walk backward across the night sky. No model of solar system not even of Copernicus heliocentric model could explain it why. Then it took eight years to Kepler and finally he solved the riddle and described about his first two laws of planetary motion in the year 1609 in his work Astronomia Nova and ten years later he described about his third law of planetary motion in the year 1619 in his work Harmonices Mundi. Also he was the first person on planet earth to discover that the orbit of Mars is not circular but an ellipse. He discovered that with the help of data which was collected by Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe. So the first law of planetary motion that is planet moves in ellipses with the sun at one focus. Kepler suggested that planets are not revolving around the sun in circular orbit as Copernicus suggested in his heliocentric model but they are revolving around the sun in ellipses orbit whereas the sun is at any one foci of it and foci is nothing but the plural form of focus. The circle has only one center of focus but an ellipse has two foci. So as per the Kepler's first law of planetary motion, sun is at any one foci while planets are revolving around it in elliptical orbit as mentioned in these figures. The second law of planetary motion that is the radius vector describes equal area in equal time. In the figure, you can see Sun is at one foci while Earth is revolving around in an elliptical orbit. Let us assume if Earth takes t no time to reach at point C from B, then the area covered by Earth is A1 with respect to the Sun. And if Earth takes t no time to reach at point E from D, then the area covered by Earth is A2 with respect to the Sun is equal. Why? Because the line joining the planet and the sun sweeps equal area in equal time interval. In simple words, if Earth takes 30 days to reach from point B to C and if the same Earth takes 30 days to reach from the point D to E, then the area sweeps by Earth from point B to C and from point D to E is equal that is area A1 is equal to area A2. But remember the speed of planet revolving around the sun is not equal always. If planet is near to the sun then the speed is more and if the planet is far from the sun then the speed is less. Third law of planetary motion. The squares of the orbital period of planet are directly proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of their orbits. The third law of planetary motion is also known as harmonic law. As we know that distance between the earth and the sun is not equal at all the time. So we will divide ellipse in major and minor axis to get the proper idea of third law and then we will name A to the semi major axis and B to the semi minor axis and time taken by earth to complete one revolution is T. Then we can easily equate the third law of planetary motion that is t square is directly proportional to a cube. In simple words, the cube of mean distance of planet from the sun is directly proportional to the square of its orbital time that is the time taken by earth or any planet to complete one revolution of sun. Thank you. Follow